going on, everybody? We back with another real behind the real. Only this time, it's real. This message is for Ariel Ho Whiny. Now, Ariel and Jury got together last night and had an interview. And as a lot of you already know and have seen Ariel's dirty, sneaky tactics that he likes to use to get over on fighters. And he does this all the while being completely, man, just a punk about it and doesn't own up to any of it. Keep throwing shade at me. You have an agenda, have a problem with me for whatever reason, right? Maybe it's the due to the fact of last time when I came on your show, after my championship fight, you tried your tactics on me and they didn't work. You thought that I was just another dumb fighter, somebody that you could just run circles on verbally, and it didn't work out for you. And people saw you for what you really were. And in that, you're now upset and every chance you get, you're, you're just taking shots at me. Like these are just blatantly just shots. Oh, and if you care to watch and see this interview that I'm talking about, that, you can go, there's, a, there's actually a, a streamer on, online. His name is MMA Guru. He did a breakdown of the, of the interview. He did a very, very good job on that breakdown. Go and watch that video and you see for yourself and you see the things that I'm talking about. First of all, we all know Ariel. The nerdy, goofy, soft, punk dude who's admitted multiple times, oh, I wouldn't fight, oh, I wouldn't fight, I don't think I could do I could dare. What if violence acts like, a, oh, like, like somebody's nana or something, has the nerve to disrespect fighters on the show <clears throat> while claiming to be a real journalist that's here for the fighters, that speaks for the fighters, that's all about the fighters, that's all about this and that, and the guys that can do the thing that you could never do, put food on your table, this is how you eat, right? To what we do. So, this video is another example of the disrespect that we as fighters get from punks like this. Can I ask uh, what your reaction was when you found out about Jamal Hill's injury? Poor oh, man. That was... <laughs> First my first my reaction was man what's what are you doing man? Because <laughs> I think working out. It happened uh, doesn't doesn't matter what's the what's the reason if if, if that but everybody saw like uh, he he uh, he have uh, like a uh, big weight. He's like uh, turned to to a big weight, and uh, and uh, especially for the ankles and all these all these areas like uh, like uh, knees, ankles is uh, it's for the body. It's a very big weight. Like uh, if you if you turning your weight like more than normal, then the knees and ankles it's uh, it's uh, it's bad. So mm. that was the that was the first like uh, logical thing about that why it can happen. Okay, Hold on. and uh, all right, I'm gonna address this right here right off the bat for uh for everybody saying wait. First off, how much do I weigh? You have no idea how much I weigh. You have no idea how much I'm used to walking around at none of these things, right? But we'll come on. And say and say these things. So, like I said, I have I have my Achilles repaired by one of the best doctors, by the best doctor in the world. Okay, and he told me there was nothing that I could do. My tendon was already bad. I had tended I had tendinosis already already existing in the tendon. So it was only a matter of time before it ruptured. All right, that. Is something that I that I didn't have control of. Now, if it ruptures in a fight, in a title fight, that's a way better, worse situation. It's a way worse situation. All right, I lose my title. I'm in rehab and a whole lot of other things. Okay, it's a it's just a bad thing one way or the other. 
And it's funny that you talk about logically and speaking of the body, this the same guy who popped his shoulder out and then let his buddy yank on his arm to try to put it back in place and destroyed his shoulder and did that as a world cha as the champion of the world. How was that logical or smart? But you know the but you know so much about the body and body parts and things. Come on, bro. Yeah. That that was that. And uh I took that. I took that like uh like nothing changed from from my from my uh last like uh, uh when I put the belt. Right. To do. It all yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It all kind of comes back. But it was interesting. I thought the way you handled it said a lot about you because for the last few months even his last post on twitter before the announcement that he was out was like insinuating yeah. that you were taking too long that you were afraid that all this nonsense and then you say to him yeah. i wish you the best and then he responded to you but like you know over the last few months a lot has been said about you and you took the high road and wished him well i i thought was a very classy thing that you did on your part oh i pause it right there yeah now, you see that? Now, he's, he is attempting to try to give him props to up him while subliminally trying to take shots at me. All right? Trying to basically, so, so you thought, you thought he took the high road and he took, and he, and that was very, that was a classy move on his part. What did I say? What did I say about him? What did I say about his injury? Really, like I got a clip. I have a clip now. This was the night before my injury. Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame red carpet interview. All right, where they asked me about Yuri Prohashkov and his injury. A lot of people are waiting, probably asking you, when is Jamal Hill gonna fight again, defend the title? Any idea when that might be? Um, hopefully, hopefully soon. Uh, hopefully, I'll have an answer for everybody soon. Um, I know. The right now, the next up from the challenge up, and the one that I want is Jerry. You know, I want to make sure he's good, make sure he's got the time and everything that he needs. But uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to get in there. I'm ready to. I'm ready. Now, I want to make sure he's good. I want to make sure he has the time that he needs. This is the day before I got hurt, before any of the uh, relinquish of the title or anything. These are my words. So, Ariel, I'm going to ask you. And be a man, bro, because that seems to be a hard thing for you. Where did I say it at? Where was I disrespectful? Where did I do anything ill towards him other than wish him well? And you go back and watch a number of interviews where I was asked about Yuri. And I said, I want you to make sure you take time. Ask Yuri what I said to him when, we, when I talked to him. I'm not fake. I don't have no reason to play fake or nice in nobody's face. That's not my thing. We see whose thing it is, though. That, that's, I think that's the to be the, just be the normal, be the normal because because everybody there, everybody in this game trying to be like uh, two 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 gangsters, and it's all about just <laughs> to stay, <laughs> stay mother, before uh, somebody <laughs> in the cage crazy. and then fight, then show me your the best performance ever you ever can do so that's that's all about that not not about the uh the speaking before it, it's this is the, this is sometimes not stupid but sometimes it's uh like trash yeah trash mm -hmm. wow uh, before it's all so, said and done, uh, is that a so honestly like how 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 am i supposed to take that how how are y'all gonna how y'all gonna take that because you talk about trying to be gangster, trying to be trash. What, what was the video that you made after I won the title? You're supposed to be resting and recovering. Everything that I've said, the where you at though and all that, was in response to him calling me out. So you trash for calling me out, right? Why are you talking? you only supposed to just show it, right? You don't let Ariel talk you in, bring you in, and now he's got you looking like a fool like he is. Because he's salty, he gets soggy, and he doesn't care. He just tries to make points even where there is none. Champ, you better than that. Don't let him suck you in like that. It's pathetic, bro. Hmm. A fight that you would like, 
you versus Jamal Hill? Is that something that you would like to see happen? Yeah, yeah. I was I was prepared. I was prepared for for, uh, but for especially for these uh, these this style of of like 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 Jamal, and <laughs> I like that. I I very start to oh, I like the start to, that you think you to like that like this his style because well, like it, it when you were was very him. simple. It was like um, simple but effective to give the power for every every punch. A lot of power in the and fundamentals. They, yeah, yeah like, man, that's but funny. Hey, hold on. And that's a just that's a fun. Keep going, keep going. Similar style have a uh, Pereira, yeah, but a li little bit upgraded. Yeah, I, I have to say it's a little bit more like uh, more like. Uh, there is a more logic, yeah, in in his style, yeah. Uh, so, All right. would that mean? Uh, All right, I'm gonna have to chalk that up just to the fact that your English is really bad, um, because the basics. <laughs> There's a lot of power in the basics, and I think a lot of people would agree that you don't have them, which is why you do things like try to throw a spin, a flying knee, and crazy things. People do a lot of, a lot of you, if you've ever trained for a certain amount of time, anytime you've seen that somebody gets in there and they, get tired, and they just start throwing crazy knees, that's because they're not really technically sound like that. They need something big or athletic to happen. I can beat you big athletically. I can beat you technically. I can beat you any way I want to. He don't have those options. I wouldn't expect him to see, to understand it whenever he sees it. And Pereira being an upgrade for me, we gonna see. That's the good thing about it. We get to see. I can't wait to be back. Come on, man. Let's keep. I was just going to ask you, who do you think is a tougher opponent? Alex Pereira or Jamal Hill? Does that mean that you think Alex is a little bit tougher? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Now you see that? Now you see that? Ask him a question. Who do you think is a tougher opponent? Alex Pereira or Jamal Hill? Does that mean you think Alex Pereira is a better, is, a, is tougher than Jamal? You know what I'm saying? Throwing shade, but trying to get him to make it, make it seem like you, he was just asking, bro, that's you throwing shade, bro. Funny. And, and if they called you today and said, like, can you do a camp? Can you fight October, November, December? You're ready. Are you ready to start a camp? Are you good? Like, are you cleared 100%? You can start training full, you know, full contact, no issues for a camp? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Now, yeah. hey. Now, how hard was that? Now, talk about I've been talking. That's all I've been asking all this time. Yo, are you ready? Is there a time over time? Give me something. Let me know something. When you might be ready, anything. That's all I've been asking for is an answer. But yet, it'll try to spin it as like it's a bad character flaw. Like I was talking shit or I'm a spinner. I'm just like this. But you see, he had the answer though. Right. And uh, by the way, that mountain that I saw you climbing, I saw you climbing this mountain. Is it uh, Mont Blanc or something like that? How difficult yeah. was that? You, that was, yeah. that's, yeah. that's crazy stuff, man. That was that is, when was that? <laughs> yeah, it was is uh, in Europe, the highest mountain in Europe. And uh, it was... Uh, it was great. It was great, man. I like like these uh, these challenges and especially the the power of mountains. And that's the that's the thing I'm looking for for. Oh. for. So let me get this straight. He's allowed to climb mountains, but I can't play basketball. It's amazing, right? That's crazy. But me playing basketball is, is wild. And then he even goes on in this to even talk about how, how incredible a human being he is for walking up a mountain. You know, I became a world champion, a world champion. And all this man who's a journalist and somebody who's meant to record history and, and bring these moments into focus decided to shit on my moment. But. You see, he, he, he's got his favorites. Let's keep going. And uh, really, I can't say this enough. The way that you handled the Jamal Hill news to me was extremely impressive because I know 
uh, you had heard a lot, and I thought it was a little bit unfair yeah. uh, over the last few months. Yeah. And the fact that you came out right away and wished him the best and didn't take a shot at him when he was down, uh, I think really said sure. a lot about you as a human being. So uh, much respect to you, Yuri, for handling it that way. Pause real quick. What does that say about me as a human being? See what you see the narrative and where he's trying to paint and push this? Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you. You realize these things because if there is uh, no too, too much people in media who realize these things because it's important because we are not like uh, just uh, somebody who, who can put the trash on everybody and everybody. And uh, it's like, man, be normal, be normal. But show me the, the best. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Now, Yuri closed that out. Like saying something that was true. But in this case, it was dumb. Because I haven't said anything about that. That hasn't, that hasn't been the case. But yet, he let Ariel lead him down. Stroke his ego. Talk all, talk all these nice things to you. Play word games with him. Because he wasn't. Because one. You know what I mean, I'm not going to say he's not smart enough. He's not. He doesn't. He clearly doesn't speak English that well. You know, so so I'm 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 well it's a lot easier to say things and get by with saying certain things with somebody who English isn't their first language. All right. Bro, I'm gonna be real. I'm just gonna say it like this, like like Ariel, you did what you did, bro. I don't fuck with you at all. You a snake. I think you a <laughs> I think you really a bitch, bro. You weak and uh you really pathetic, bro. Like people come on, come on, trying to share, try to share like their dreams, true feelings, and raw things like that with you, and you take it, you take that time to try to serve your own agenda, try to get to get your ten eights and things like that, and it's like, bro, you know what you really losing in the process of all that? Do you care? Like I'm gonna give you so like all oh, these things I want you to think about since you always want to be Mister. Drop the mic and think about it. These things that you should think about, you know, and uh, another thing to think about is a simple fact of I'm not rampage, bro. I'm not rampage. I'm not going to have the whole little playful little, little thing back and forth with you like that, bro. You keep disrespecting me and disrespecting my name. I'm going to come see about you. Eventually, at some point, we'll be in the same room. The fact that I'm a man and a gentleman, you know, regardless of anything, I'm truly I'm, I'm a gentleman is the reason why. You would be okay. Not because of you. Because you're not capable. You're not capable of ensuring yourself for being okay like that and that. You know, I have to allow you to be okay. When you're a punk, you need to stay in a punk's place. Period.